Hello DC team members and welcome back to Dice Commando. We have a special treat today for today's Tuesday Tech. This is the deck by the Bassmaster that won last weekend's standard tournament. This is single die Cody. So do note, I put the die up here so they would act as a visual aid on the elite versus non-elite. We all know that these guys don't come with die naturally right from the roll off and all that. Uh, but so we have single die Cody, we have an elite wolf right and if just to remind you what so what wolf does is after you activate him roll a die in your pool and then activate another one of your red characters right so that means that with fc going off you can activate your entire team all one time then if wolf is elite and you control the battlefield very key spot any number of unique reds to deal that much indirect to an opponent remember he can spot himself right so the whole strategy here being it's very ewok-esque in that if you control the battlefield and you come in with wolf you fc him you throw six indirect across the table, roll in two clone trooper dice, and then activate fives, who rolls in a clone trooper die, and then you activate Cody, who rolls in his own die, and then if you so happen to have conscript squad, it can also come in with Cody. Right, so the whole idea is that you just cascade down all of this, but it's all about battlefield control and skipping ahead, right, and that's why we have, have this little guy. Right, so definitely could use like this. This deck would probably be very, very, very good if you could guarantee battlefield control, like with another, like if they if, if they had taking ground or something like the villains do. I think this deck would be pretty bazonkers, um, but it doesn't, fortunately for us. So it is uh, limited to where it is, but no, no less, no less potent. We saw it destroy just destroy a control deck that was slow that couldn't beat it out for control so anyway let's get right into it so bindu's layer of course is a battlefield which makes sense for battlefield control um, i think you know usually you're rolling out bindu's first so you can get advantage of it depending on who you're playing and how important control well control is always important but i'm saying how much of a risk losing control is you may not be doing that you may just be rolling out uh, but let's get into it so not many upgrades as you would you would expect in this deck uh, Conscript Squad I love. That's a great include because A, Wolf's a leader, but he's going to be your first target anyway. And so for most of the game, you're going to have a leader because Cody's a leader. We then have Riot Shield to protect whomever's left. I mean, at the very least, it's always three when you play it. So this is an interesting one. I want to remind people what this does, right? Tico Pendant, Exhaust to move one damage from another character to attach character or up to two damage instead if the other character has a copy of this upgrade on it. So that's highly unlikely for the two, but again, it's it's just kind of a mini Ewok, or sorry, uh, Wookiee Tribe effect in terms of the move damage. There's no healing, of course. Uh, two crate speeders, just good value. Uh, hand cannon, also good value. Throw it on likely Cody, and you know, you're know you not having any lack of, of base sides in this deck. That's the other thing I like about Conscript, right? Conscript has those two modifiers, which really stink a lot of times, but you're going to have enough dice out there between him coming in and five three rolls that it should usually work so again key, main key to the deck seizing territory no doubt there focus fire great surprise from hand run to safety and we have the moving and the you know just if you're playing a super straight damage deck you do have moving available as a little combo we with how fast this is going to work but run to safety is an amazing value if you can get it to work two field medics no doubt there two first aids right i should have put those next to each other I did put these next to each other, Motivate and Logistics, makes perfect sense there. We do have a Seize the Day, because that's just stupid, right? I mean, Seize the Day in on bringing in your entire team. Because remember, this can only be played if you control the battlefield. So control the battlefield, you get him. I mean, that's just crazy, right? You come in, you do it all with the rerolls. Measure for Measure makes complete sense. You remove Unfetter, right? Ready a red character that has no cards attached to it. It's perfect for these clone guys. It is two. It's a little expensive. I like it as a one of in here. Um, if things are going well, though, you're, you're taking plenty of money. Do you remember uh, Motivate? So Logistics, we know what that does, but do you remember Motivate? Uh, that's the spot two reds, which usually you're going to be able to do at least early, but it's not just for money. It can also bump a die by one, right? So other cards that you could consider throwing in here is Intense Fire, just because you have a ton of red. Um, you could consider doing it instead of target acquired. Um, you are generating a fair amount of indirect in here with Co or with Wolf. So I think this makes sense. Uh, however, I think if you're going that strategy, maybe you run two. Uh, but again, Bassmasters, I mean, he's 
pretty good at building decks, so and he's had a lot of chances to tune this, so maybe he decided that one was the right option. I could definitely see dropping a handheld for the target acquired. Um, but remember, your first your first shot is going to be to roll him out, so you're definitely not doing this first round. So I think that's probably why he landed on a one of, is because they're already going to have it spread around, and then you drop it round two, and then you can kind of blast down a target if you haven't gotten somebody close to death already. So that is that is his list. I, I think it's really good. Um, alternate cards that you could consider as near miss for just the removal. Um, that could maybe take the crash landing slot, but again, crash landing is doing exactly what you want it to do, which is keeping Wolf alive. So I mean, obviously, free removal is better than or removal is better than having to take the damage. But if your main objective here is just to outlast and throw damage across the table, which it is, I think crash does a pretty good job here. So. Thank you very much to Bassmaster for sharing the list with the team. Uh, we may be in a bit releasing this open to the public so that Bassmaster can share his deck with others. Uh, but definitely, DC team, you heard it here first. Again, thank you very much to Bassmaster for uh, throwing me his deck after the tournament to do this. Uh, this is a pretty, pretty spicy little build. Um, as long as you can keep battlefield control, it's pretty brutal, right? So that's what to remember if you sit down versus this guy is don't let him have the battlefield. So. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me today. Happy Tech Tuesday and Go Commando!